Thanks for watching this video, TCA Microsoft Innovative Educators. This is your host, Miguel Goulet. The TCA MIE group is growing fast. We already have 55 members in two weeks and we're getting bigger every day. TCA MIE is open to all Texas educators using Office 365 and OneNote Class Notebook. And uh, that could be OneNote Class Notebook interfacing with a variety of different learning management systems whether it's Google Classroom, Microsoft Classroom, Schoology. We'll be featuring uh, different video tutorials that address that. So I hope you share, you'll share the Facebook group address with others. That address is http colon forward slash forward slash ly dot tca dot org forward slash join tceamie. Earlier today, I received an email from Port Arthur ISD teacher Hope Scott. Hope shared the following. Our campus uses Cornell Notes, and I'd love to see or share what it looks like in OneNote. There are various Cornell Note templates online, as well as note-taking templates that you can use that are built into OneNote. In this video example, I'll be showing you some of those templates, as well as you can find others that I've pulled off the web. I hope that these tips will save you some time. So let's take a quick look at, at OneNote. I'm just going to quickly bring up my OneNote 2016. I want to point out that um, the regular OneNote that comes free on uh, Windows really won't work well for our purposes. So you can see here that I have a uh, Cornell Notes uh, OneNote available and uh, it is pretty straightforward to just go in and, and make adjustments or changes. If you don't like this look or if you don't want the bullets and you want students to just be able to use their finger to write on the on the uh, screen um, then that's certainly something you can just remove the bullets or change these words around um, to match your needs. You can also adjust the colors of the table, it's just a matter of right clicking and and changing the, sh the shading to to something else that works better for you. So this is uh, Cornell Notes. There are also some other note taking um, tools that are available, and these are templates that I've actually pulled off the web. Now, before I go much further, though, uh, I'm not sure if if you know, but if you go to uh, the insert menu which is right here across the top of your screen and then uh, just take a look at where is it the page templates it's over here on the far right hand side when you click on page templates you can get these pretty nice uh, templates that you can use a lot of folks don't know about them and um, they include some you know simple lecture notes detailed lecture notes um, and there are even more page templates that are organized over here so there's a simple to-do list a prioritized to-do list a project to-do list and all of these resources are available for you just built into OneNote you don't have to go out and get anything special however if you do want to go out and get uh, one of these special templates like the Cornell notes or the things to do or maybe getting things done if you're familiar with that then what you'll um, you'd want to do is um, go to this address it's ly.tca.org forward slash OneNote templates when you go there you'll end up at a page that looks like this and this is just a, a place where I'm storing some of the templates that I find that are really um, that jump out at me as great. I have to admit that that the majority of these templates, if not all of them, right now are coming from a wonderful uh, provider. It's OneNote Gem, um, I believe. dot com. No, that's not it. The let me see what my address is here. Well, let's let's just do a quick search. It is OneNoteGem.com, 
And these, this is a wonderful website. They've got a lot of resources for OneNote, and uh, you can definitely check them out. Um, I would say probably most of these templates, if not all of them, come from OneNote Gem. So I, I definitely want to give them credit for, for a wonderful job uh, putting these together. So when you're here, you can go in and uh, save a particular template. I'm looking for the Cornell Notes. Where is it? Right here. I can just click on that. Notice that it has downloaded it. When I click on it, it's going to open it in OneNote 2016. And it just says Open Sections, and it has Cornell Notes. And if I come over here on the right-hand side, you'll see that I have Cornell Notes as a page. At this point, I can choose to copy that page and then switch to um, a place where I can put it. And if I want to, I can just right click and paste. And now this Cornell note appears here uh, in the TCA MIE resources. So let's, let's go through that again. I obviously have them already loaded um, in my period one English notebook, which I shared with some of you as a uh, example. But I can come down here and let's say get uh, a notes to do list. I click on it, open it up, it comes in just like this. I can copy it, then switch over to where I, I want to put it and paste it in, and, and now it's it's there. So these are, this is just a quick way to, to pull a template uh, and then at that point you can copy and paste it. Now if you're working inside of a uh, class notebook, um, for example a period one uh, English class notebook, I've been putting all of that into the uh, content library, but if I wanted to um, send it out straight to kids, for example I wanted to take this Cornell notes and now distribute it using the class notebook distribute page, I could send it out to all the students very easily. So there's two ways to do that. I can just right click and go and distribute page, which you can't really see because it's off the recording. Um, or just come up here to my uh, class notebook toolbar, choose distribute page. I'm going to put it in the handout section and you'll see that it's being distributed and if I go into a student account and go into the handout section now I have that Cornell notes and then as a student which happens to be TCA student 01 now I can just go ahead and make modifications so just a quick overview of how to um, get a Cornell note taking uh, template and save it in as well as other templates that may be available and you know if you want to make um, let's say you wanted to make some a notebook page available to others you can select it here and then in OneNote uh, 2016 just go to uh, the file and export it and when you go to export you can choose page and you can see that you can export it as a OneNote section. You can export it as a Word document, a PDF, or even a web page. So if I were to take that and export it as a uh, Word document, then I could send that to somebody and they would have a copy of those notes, whatever, was, whatever notes were taken, and it would be in, in Word format. Or I could use a PDF. If I was sending it to someone else who had uh, OneNote 2016, um, or 2010 or 2013, then I could just send it uh, in this format and they would get it and be able to open it in their OneNote pretty much the same way that we did when we were working with it. Hope that makes sense to everyone. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, and of course, you can find me at MGUHLIN. Uh, the short address to this page is. Um, ly.tca.org forward slash join TCA MIE and what that will do is just bring you to this uh, Facebook group. Thanks for watching.